Good to see you're here. Welcome to Lucretia on Monday morning. I will be having an interview today, but let's start off with saying hello to a few people. Um, mum, mum, mum. And I hope you're having a beautiful day because here it is gorgeous. We've got Outdoor Adventures with Ron. Hello. And I want you to notice I'm not in a tank top today, okay? I'm not in a tank top. I'm wearing grown-up girl clothes. Hey, my tank tops are grown-up girl clothes. I just wanted to dress a little different today. Uh, Outdoor Adventures with Ron again. Hello to you. Glad you're here, Ron. Very glad you're here. Catherine Cook. Hello. I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see your name. Linda Barker. Hi, Linda. Glad you are here. And Journey via Lily's Lens. Hello, Lily. And I'm sure everybody here knows everybody, so I don't probably need to say, but she's a, fatab a fatabulous, a fatabulous photographer. And if you don't know her, go, go get her. Go get to know her. Artist on the road. Well, hello, Gypsy. Glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Campy Therapy. Roy and Becky Raid. Well, thank you so much, Roy and Becky's people who popped over. Happy to see you. We're going to have a great interview today, I believe. It's just my opinion, but I think it's going to be a good interview. A little bit crazy, LNJ. Glad you're here very much. And Roy and Becky, obviously. Thank you. And I'm sorry. So apparently I'm like one person in a whole family that, you know, I deal with a lot of different things. And so I literally was on the phone with my little sister till 20 after 10. Charve Hart, thank you for coming from the raid. Joy Blessed Life, thank you for coming. Glad you're here and glad you were with Roy and Becky. I normally am there three to five days a week, depending on how much crisis is going on in my life, in the life around me. Um, whoop, whoop, the American Wanderer wonderful channel. Thank you. And I'm glad you're here. And artist on the road journey via Fotabulous. Fotabulous. Yes, ma'am. She is Fotabulous. That's true. Okay. So uh, let me get started with a few housekeeping items first. If you have not done so, a thumbs up would be great. I hope. Um, I live with thumbs down too, by the way, you know, it's just the way life is. And um, if you feel so inclined, share this out to your um, channel membership people on your community tab, if you have one, and or to your other social media. That way we can get some new folks in here. Okay, so what else are we going to talk about? Um, I will be having an interview if she has trouble getting in. So let's keep our eye out for the happy camper. Happy with an eye. Um, I've had a couple of really good, well, one really good conversation specifically for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. We had a great conversation, got to know each other a little better. <clears throat> And I need to take a sip of coffee because because I've been talking a long time today, long before this show started. If you don't have your coffee or your tea or your whatever it may be, grab it. Okay. I want to give you a little heads up on another interview I'm going to be doing. It's the last Monday, the last Monday of September. Um, the travel grandma is going to be uh, on here and she's doing a whole bunch of stuff right now, or we would have her already, but you know, I, I don't want to take away from people doing their thing on the road and she is on the road at this time. So I'm, I'm, I'm just glad she's having a great time and that she has given me the opportunity to interview her in a few weeks. It's going to be a good, it's going to be an interesting interview. You know, um, I don't think I've had a non-interesting interview. I, I've enjoyed every single person that I've met and interviewed. And so I um, also want to say, if you are interested in being interviewed and having your channel showcased, I don't care how big or how small you are. And you don't even have to be actively on the I'm word or sticks and bricks right, sticks and bricks right now. Uh, because as you know, most of you know, Richard and I both have had surgeries. Richard, uh, Catherine, as a matter of fact, he is sound asleep about five feet from me right now. 
he's not feeling very well. Um, if you don't know, Richard had surgery a week ago this last Friday on his back. They did a fusion. So they went right over his spine and they went very deep into his uh, body there in order to open it up and do some, put a bunch of hardware in. So he's struggling a little bit, but he'll be fine. I mean, I had the same surgery, a similar surgery at, you know, five years, five years or six years ago was my first fusion. And it was a small fusion like this, but um, we're just different people. You know, we handle pain differently. Uh, Victoria May Life Unfiltered, another person whose channel is wonderful. So she's doing on Wednesdays from, I believe it's four o'clock Pacific time to about six o'clock, a karaoke and chat. And there's some great channels on there. Kenny from Ford Man, AKA Kenneth Oaks is commonly up there kind of helping her out, giving her uh, some uh, side guy to talk to and chit chat with. And then some of us people like me go on and sing. Yes. I really have to get myself in the right headspace for that. Uh, so, Thank you, Victoria, for coming. So that's what's going on with Richard. My surgery, my next one that was supposed to be on the 10th of September has been postponed because all of our, in, so all of our intensive care beds are taken up with COVID patients, every single one. And so the anesthesiologist that would normally be standing over me, you know, making sure I lived, um, is taken up. He's having to take care of people who have COVID and need breathing, special breathing uh, stuff set up for them. So I'm, I'm going to live, you know, I'm going to live. So I don't mind postponing my surgery for a little while. So it'll be a little bit later, probably in late September or into October sometime. And then Richard's second surgery on his neck, which has to happen, will be about November or December. So with everybody's prayers, we will be able to be out on the road by about March. I know that seems like a long, trust me. I know that seems like a long time away. And I'm keeping my eyes open for the happy camper. If I miss her, please yell at me. Camping therapy. Um, yeah, no elective surgeries here in Eugene. Uh, -uh. We've got a big hospital a big regional hospital, but we can't do anything about the fact that there's every bed is taken up. And so they have to have beds available for regular people, like in surgery. And actually uh, the one I had six years ago, I had to go to ICU afterwards for four days because the nurse tried to kill me. She over-medicated me with Dilaudid, a massive, what's called a bolus dose of Dilaudid. And I was a couple minutes from dying, um, truly, uh, when a CNA discovered it and had to drag that nurse into my room. So a man came named Mike and I, it was right when, you know, there's a, you, most of you might know, or some of you might know of a character named Magic Mike, a movie, a very attractive young man uh, who was a dancer. Um, this came out about the same time I was having that cert that I had that surgery and the man who saved my life and gave me the, the, uh, the reversal, uh, the um, Narcan. He had to Narcan me, stick, stick me in ICU for four days. He, um, his name was Mike. And so I, I've always referred to him as the real Magic Mike because he saved my life. Uh, so anyways, um, I needed an ICU bed. If it were today, they may or may not have an ICU bed for me. Then what? So um, that's what's happening. It'll just be a little bit later. So I look out every day at my RV city there and I just ache to go and be traveling. Dyson's Crazy Adventures, thank you for coming. Thank you, I appreciate that. I've done that many times. Taz28, glad you're here. Hey to you. And I'm gonna write your name down because you're new to me. And again, if you have not had a chance to do the thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Happy Camper is in the house. Um, I don't see you in the basement, sweetheart. So what I'm going to do is I don't see you in my basement. I'm going to just drop the link. This is for Happy Camper. Copy clipboard. Put it in the link or in the chat. And then you, my friend, can grab it and come on up. Until then, I'm going to have one more sip of coffee. So... 
I please tell me. I need to know if it shows that there is a uh, memberships available because I don't. I've I've tried to get rid of my membership link. I don't want members right now. I'm kind of going to be revamping the channel over the next few months and working with somebody on that. Um, and I don't need the distraction of trying to fulfill the obligations. It's a fact of having channel members. So if you could tell me uh, if there is still showing one, I would appreciate it because I believe I've gotten rid of it. And I don't, if it's still there, don't become a member, please. Don't become a member. All right. So um, she should be up here any minute. Takes a, It takes about 60 to 90 seconds for someone to end up in the basement after we've dropped the link and they've grabbed a hold. Okay, camping therapy. Thank you. It's gone. You know, I, I felt bad. And anybody who has been a member should be getting a refund on that. If you paid for this month, it should go back to you. At the very least, you will not be charged anymore. Okay. So when you're, when you're, you're here, when you're ready. Okay. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Can you hear me? Let me make sure I'm not muted. I can't hear you, but I want to make sure I haven't accidentally muted you. I'm trying to unmute you. There we go. Can you hear me now? Uh-oh. Can't hear. No. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Yes. Can All right. you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Okay. All right. So All I right. think everybody can hear us. So first of all, I want to say thank you for coming, Winter. Thank you. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I'm really honored to be here. Well, I have always, I didn't realize you were one and the same. You know, sometimes you come up under one channel name and then there's another one. And the happy camper I did not know was you or I would have been chatting with you a long time ago about this. <laughs> OK, my connection is doing what I feared. It's breaking up. You sound solid to me, though. Does she sound solid to the rest I of do. you? You sound perfect to me. OK, you're breaking up to me. I'm getting just pieces of what you're saying. So do you want to just tell us a little bit about how you got started? So you're, you're on here, you know, you're the happy camper. What makes you be a happy camper? Tell us a little bit of your story. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to try to translate that sentence. I really can't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> okay. Let me type, let me try to type it quickly. Um, I'm going to try to put it back on my Wi-Fi and see if that will work. I had a feeling this was going to happen, Lucretia. Well, let's, let's oh, try. Oh, now I can hear you okay. Okay. So you want to tell us a little bit about what makes you the happy camper? What makes me the happy camper? Yes, well, ma'am. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> I live in an RV and am just so, so, so happy to be where I live. I can't even begin to express how much joy I have living in this little tiny cocoon. Mm -hmm. So I chose the happy camper as my channel name. So I happen to know that you don't live and travel in the same RV. So. So you're living in an RV. What size is it? It's um, eight feet by 35. It's a fifth wheel. Okay. Yeah. And what are you traveling? I travel in a minivan. <laughs> Mer 
merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a merch chat? Do you have a merch store? I do. It's on my banner on my channel. And I okay. sell um, what everybody else sells. But I do want to show you this, Lucretia, because this is important right now. Okay. Turn it a little bit. Other, there you go. Thanks for all. You do. You Oh, that yeah, that's a nice cup. That's a very nice cup. Yeah. Is that one of yours? So, yeah, I designed that. Oh, very cool. I don't need, I don't have a merch yeah. store yet. I'm like, who's going to buy my stuff? I mean, in my mind, I just can't envision. I still, I'm not at that place in, in my heart that anybody's going to buy anything. Um, <clears throat> maybe someday. So I, I, think, I, I, I do it for fun. I just do it for fun. I, if I never sell anything, I really don't care. I just love to design things. Uh huh. <laughs> it's just fun. So. You can't hear me now. That's bizarre because I'm not muted. I just, there's no mute here. Um, I need to turn on my studio light. Hold on one second. Okay. I forgot to do that because I was too busy trying to figure out how to get in your basement. Oh, so I want to say, I just want to say while you're doing that, a couple hellos to how to garden. Thank you. Eddie T Deborah on the go. Um, thank you guys for coming. The decent gamer. I'm, I'm very, very, very appreciative. So, uh, your, how long have you been doing any traveling? How long have you, you've been the happy camper for how long? Um, I went in June of this year. I went for two and a half weeks and I traveled all the way up the coast of California, uh -huh. almost to Oregon. And I stopped and camped along the way. Uh -huh. And then I went for a two day camping trip about four weeks ago. And uh, that was a rough one because I had cut my bed down from 32 inches wide to 24 because I wanted more floor space in my van. Right. Oh, right. that was a huge mistake. <laughs> my body screamed at me for two weeks after I got home. I was on my roller every day. I couldn't move my neck. So the solution to that is I'm now doing a brand new van build. So oh. I'm real excited about that. Well, I couldn't, you know, certainly <clears throat> I've always heard one of the most important things to traveling is to have a bed that's comfortable for you. Absolutely, Lucretia. Absolutely. Especially with people like you and me who have back issues to start with. You, right. you know, you want to be comfortable when you're in your bed, especially if you're living in your minivan or your van or your truck or sure. SUV. Mm -hmm. It's really important to have a comfortable bed. Well, and I think we all learn lessons when we first do make our first major trip out and we figure out, I always had a vision of how certain things would be. And some of it was exactly that way. <clears throat> and a big bunch of it was not. I'm, yeah. I'm lucky we, we did have decent beds. We do have good beds, but um, my nephew complained about, I let him stay in it a while back for a couple nights. And he's like, you need to get new beds. I said, no, actually they feel really good to us. Um, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah. so what led you to the idea you wanted to be traveling at all camping? You know, you're a single lady by yourself. What, what made you think about that? You're not, this answer is going to shock you. I'm not a camper. I'm, I never had a desire to live in a minivan, travel. I was a truck driver for six months. I saw the United States from the highway. <laughs> I just, it was never in me, but the Lord started speaking to me to get something to live in if I needed to. So first it was my car. I tore the seats out of my, tore the back of the seats out of my little Kia Rio and made a bed had the mm -hmm. whole back was a bed. <laughs> That's a matter of the Rio. Yeah, a little tiny car. And then I'm like, God, I can't do this in my car with a dog. There's no way I can do this. 
especially <laughs> one that sheds like Peanut does. His hair is everywhere. So he moved me to start looking for a minivan. And I looked and looked and I gave up. I wasn't going to look anymore. And then that night he presented me with the van that I got. <laughs> so I have it. I, I, everything of that build was a vision that God gave me to do. Cause I know nothing about any of this. Right. And it turned out to be a fantastic, no build build mm -hmm. um, that, it's my most watched video <laughs> out of every video I have made. My tour of that van has had over 11,000 views. So wow. for my channel, that's <clears throat> insanity. <laughs> sure. And you had a, you had a blow up of your channel lately. You know what, what, what led to that? Well, I prayed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there tonight. I prayed. I prayed. I just, I've been reading the Bible and praying and reading the Bible and praying for family healing and all kinds of things that are not mm -hmm. anywhere near this talk today. But it led me to say, okay, let's do this. Let's throw that out there. Hey, I want my channel to grow. Right. And uh, within two weeks, I had 300 new subscribers and my channel had been open for over a year and only had 351 when this happened. I am so, now 30 away from 700 subscribers. I was going to say, I'm going to share the screen with us just for just a minute and bring up your channel for a second. Okay. Um, Hi, everybody out there. I love all of you. I can't see a word that's coming across on the screen. So I just want to say, acknowledge everybody in the chat. And I'm so happy that you're here. And right now your face is covered up and I'm sorry. I will just have this up a minute. No um, worries. <laughs> so the happy camper, I've, I've got your... Um, first page, your homepage, so to speak, up here. And uh, I'll tell you something. I really like when I opened this up and I was looking at it and I was kind of scrolling through um, your uh, this page. I love this background up here. I just got to say, and the wording, I love the, um, I can't remember the correct word, but I love the type that this oh, is. the font. The font, the font, yes. yes. Yeah. And then I want to when I love the, I have to say this, I love the consistency of the color, the purple, the color purple. And I love your, um, your, uh, when you do your thumbnails here, this yellow, little yellow box for the lack of a better word, that consistency. I just have to say, I really like that. Um, it's one of the things I look for. I, it's one, one of the things that I look for when I'm looking um, at a channel that I'm not familiar with. Mm -hmm. And then that you did write something here in your about, because mm -hmm. I'm all about looking at people's about, because it kind of <laughs> gives me an idea about their channel. Yes. Um, in your case, the happy camper says it's a camping page. You know, this is a camping channel. And so, um, yeah, so I like your sit, your little, your, your goal here for this channel is to show you my RV life and mini mm -hmm. van camping. So I just wanted to let you know, I'm, I think we can get a thumbs up on her, on your page. I think it's a Aww. great, it's a great um, channel page, and uh, I really like Thank it. You. You're, you're doing Aww. a very good job. Thank you so much. That picture yeah. is one I took when I went on the two-day camping trip where I killed my back in that bed. That's oh a no! Photo, that's a photograph that I took. That's on my banner. Nice, but that's a nice photograph, and I, I think that people, the photograph that's on the page behind. Um, on my stream yard here, that is, I took that uh, over at one of our local parks. And so I love seeing those kind of things on a, someone's um, channel. Charlie Grace says here, small living with a dog can be hard. And uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. In the van though, it actually works perfectly because what I have is I've got his little seat that he rides in, in the front passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those that's elevated up. So I put a drawer, a plastic bin underneath that seat. And that oh. has all of his stuff in it. His dog food, oh. his um, toys, whatever I need for him is inside there. And then no. his little bed is a fold-up bed. Uh -huh. And I, in my 
prior build, which I've ripped out, there's nothing in my van right now at all. Um, he would sit on the kitchen area in the back at night and sleep in his bed. So that actually worked really well. So it looks like you've got a couple new friends on your page now, uh, on your channel. Oh, I always thank think you. Uh, Forever Best thank Friend. You. And you know who Forever oh. Best Friend, her channel is all yes. about? Cool. Yes. 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 All right. I know. Yeah, I know their channel. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And a little bit crazy, Ellen J. Gonna check Hi, you out. Hi, little bit. So, Hi, little bit. <laughs> so that's nice. I I always like to see. You know, if we if it's uh, you know somebody we don't know. Here's one of the things I was taught, and I'm gonna put this up here. Um, okay. Where did it go? And it was um, Aaron Jem Jemison. I know I Aaron. Learned I learned this right here from Aaron and I, I stole it and I copied it and I put it down because uh, this is how I grew my channel uh, from zero, you know, to we're about 1300 right now. And wow, it's, congrats. It's, doing, it's doing this very thing for most of the people that I have connected with intentionally. I did it intentionally. Um, so when you say you basically woke up one day and it had grown by 300, was there anything that had happened? Had there been a, had you been on a, a channel? Had you just prayed and then all of a sudden your channel was 300 bigger? Yes. Well, no, 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 no. Two weeks. It was a two week period. <laughs> two but weeks. It started, it, it started that, the, it started the day that I prayed. I think there were, I don't know, like I woke to, woke up to like 50 or 60 more subscribers and then it's just it's just kept going it hasn't stopped i just keep gaining subscribers and i'm shocked at it i i just every day i look at it and go oh my gosh lord thank you i i don't even know what to say i'm so humbled it's yeah it's an it's an oh. that would humble yeah. me i can <laughs> tell you it would humble me and although just to not go to you know everybody has their own philosophy or their own religion or non-religion philosophy, whatever it is. Um, I believe right. that the, the power that I trust in my life in really wants the best for me. And if it's the best for me to have another hundred or 300 or thousand people, then that will happen in the time it's supposed to happen. And that's, I think after our conversation, I believe that's what happened for you. Yes. 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 Yeah. I, well, and the, the, I do have two channels and I was actually praying for growth for the other channel, but God chose this channel to grow. And I don't know why I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> I well, just roll with what God tells me. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Right. <laughs> so, right. It's like, what else are we supposed to do? Um, you're just following. Nothing. The <laughs> yeah. nothing. nothing. Um, so you said you have another channel. Do you just want to share what the channel, what that channel is and kind of what it's about? It's all right that to do that. If you want my, to. Um, it's my walk with God channel and it's not like any other channel like me. I'm not like any other human. Uh, uh -huh. like we're all unique, right? We are all unique. And, uh, yes. it's my walk with God channel. And I just talk about where I was in my life when my life was horrible and where I was with God at that time. I've had mm -hmm. many, many, many miracles happen to me physically, emotionally. And that's what I'm sharing on that channel. It's called Winter's Place. Winter's I also Place. do DIYs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do little DIYs on that channel and I'll probably do some cooking on that channel too. Okay. But it's mainly just my sharing um, where I was and what my walk was then and, and where I am now and what I've learned from so, not being in the presence of God, you know, uh -huh. it was a huge mistake. <laughs> so that's my other channel. <laughs> okay. So if, if one of the moderators wants to pop over and grab both the Happy Camper and what did you name the other channel's name was? Winter's Place. Winter's Place. And drop those yes. links in here with for us. Apostrophe. Okay. Winter's Place with an apostrophe. All right. Yeah. Um, nice that would be appreciate. greatly appreciated. So um, you've, you've, you've traveled a little bit around. Well, you traveled a lot when you were a truck driver. I, I, 
I've always thought that would be fun. And I don't know. I've always thought being a truck driver would be fun, except I understand it's really not for people with horrible backs. It is not. Um, unless you drive for Werner, which is who I drove for, what? you didn't have to lift anything. Um, so I, you know, the truck company that I worked for, I didn't have to do any lifting at all, which I was very fortunate oh, cool. in that. But I, stories that I could tell you, oh my good grief. I was only a truck driver for six months and I quit because I was afraid I was going to kill somebody every oh. single day when I was in that massive, huge, gigantic thing. <laughs> like, I'm going to kill somebody. I just know it. <laughs> and the stress level was through the roof. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. can only imagine. Because I remember just driving my <laughs> 20, 25 foot uh, class C the first time. I was literally, people who watched on my live stream, I was gripped right onto that steering wheel. And I was just staring out the window. I didn't dare look away at the camera. My hands were on there. I thought they were going to have to be pried off. And that was just in a you know 25 foot class C. I can't imagine driving a big truck would be I'm like. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I'm with my trainer. And my trainer's name was Kevin. And I was with him for six weeks. And then my last week, I was with a female. Uh -huh. He were driving down... I 10 and I smoked cigarettes back then. Thank God I don't smoke anymore. And I was trying to reach for my cigarette lighter and I'm doing this and then grabbing the wheel. He goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to get my cigarette lighter and I'm white knuckling it. He goes, let go of the steering wheel. And he took one finger and he put it on the steering wheel. He's down here kneeling next to me. And had one finger and was steering this massive truck. Oh, wow. And I went, wow. He goes, winner, there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> so after that, <laughs> I felt a little more comfortable. But yeah, it was extraordinarily hot, hot, just terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. I, I can imagine. I want to take just a moment and I want to congratulate Box Van D um, on her accomplishment of 15,000 subscribers. And she had a party yesterday, and uh, I was able to be there for the last bit, last half of it. But um, I really want to say congratulations, Dee, because I know you've worked your butt <laughs> off to get there. And I can't even. I, I'm sorry. In my I'm sorry. Imagine. You're breaking up so bad, Lucretia. I, I'm trying to oh. grab what you're saying by getting your bits and pieces. That was all bits and no pieces. I didn't understand anything. You oh, just no. Said. I apologize. Yeah. Is it any better now? It, it is it comes and goes like when uh -huh. you're not asking me a question and you're just talking i hear you fine the minute you start to ask me a question you start breaking up oh that's very interesting i was just uh saying congratulations yeah. to d because fifteen thousand subscribers is a big milestone oh are you talking about d d d d yes yes Yes, I watched her live last night. Oh my gosh, oh, it was just so incredible. It was awesome. Yes. So when you were trying to decide on your, when you were trying to decide on what kind of thing to camp in, what made you decide for the minivan as opposed to getting like, um, you know, one of the kind of bigger vans or a, a box van or a step van? I looked at U-Hauls. I was really thinking about getting a U-Haul and mm -hmm. selling my RV and moving into a U-Haul. Oh. But that was just not in the cards. It's not what I was supposed to do. So the best next thing that I could afford to get was a used minivan. Mm -hmm. So that's what I bought. I would love to have a van that I can stand up in. That would be my goal. So uh -huh. I'm doing little things over on the side to try to make some money um, and asking the Lord to bless that project. I'm creating books for Amazon. And so I've got a whole bunch of books for sale on Amazon right now um, and trying to bring some income in that way because I really would love to be able to stand up. If I could stand up in a van, I, I would really possibly think about getting rid of this and moving into a van. That, you know, so I had, here's what was my dream. 
I dreamed. I know I told you this already, I believe, but my dream was to, to, to do a minivan first. But then I have a husband who's with me. And, you know, we could not both sleep in a minivan. I just don't. It was became very clear to me, but I still love watching van channels. I think it's the most attractive life of them all. Truthfully, it looks the most, I'm going to use this word, sexy. Yeah. Van yeah. They make it look yeah. very sexy and they it do. looks very carefree and fun. Yes. But yes. Especially, I'm kind of Ray, especially Ray Ray with his little, you know, you know, Van Life Rocks with his little. Oh, yes. Booty. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I've always thought he has the best name in on YouTube, Van Life Rocks. Oh, he, he nailed did. it. Yes, he did. <laughs> but I do like your red van. I have to say you have a very nice red van. It's really, I mean, for the miles that are on it, that van looked like it was brand new on the inside, except for a stain on the passenger seat. I, I don't know what they do, if they sandblast them when they get them um, or not. The history on the van is it was a rental car in New York. I don't know if it was New York City, but it was a rental car in New York. Then it was bought by the owner who kept it until they traded it in and I bought it. Mm -hmm. So it had a hundred and a hundred thousand and a hundred. I don't know how to do numbers. I'm dyslexic, but it's a hundred thousand and three hundred and forty eight. I've put three thousand miles on it since I bought it. It needs an oil change. Wow. <laughs> I, I loved I. So I had a beautiful um, uh, it's called it was a Cadillac CTS. It was an 06, I think, and it was beautiful cream color. It drove like cutting hot knife through butter. Mm. That's the, and I'm not a Cadillac person. I, I thought they were for grandma and grandpas who had money. Right. This was not. This was a sporty Cadillac. And mm. you and I wasn't intentionally trying to drive fast in it, but before I knew it, it was going 100 miles an hour, and it seemed like we were going 60. It just <laughs> yes. Missed. It was like that. And so, but I hadn't had my knees replaced yet. And getting it, it's because it was a sport model. When you get in, you go sit down and back into it. And every time I got into the car, I would almost cry if oh. I was the passenger. Yeah. And it was just horribly painful. And so I, um, we went, guess what? We, we, just, I, I lost a lot of money because I'd paid cash for that car. And, um, I traded straight across to the used car lot for a minivan, a Dodge Grand Caravan, because oh, that's wow. the one that I happen to like. And uh -huh. I just, but definitely the, the price discrepancy, but I didn't care. I just needed to stop crying when I went someplace. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And Richard is like, you know, we're going to lose a lot of money. And I I know, but we, we did it anyway, because that's just what had to happen. Um, so you find that traveling in it right now, you just needed to change the bed back out to a bigger size. How about storage? How is storage in there? Because that's one of those things that I think most people say, well, how do you get your, your but you're not using it for full time living. You're just doing some camping and some extended stays away. Right. But I did actually set it up to live in. So I've got a Berkey. I've got uh, 13 gallons of water on board. I have everything that I could possibly need to live in that van, in it. And wow. like I said, God gave me the vision and I just did it. So I took out the back seats. I left the passenger first row seats. Mm -hmm. So they're just stowed. I, but if I wanted to yank those out and have storage underneath, I could. I just used bins that were eight inches by 15 inches and I had six of them underneath the bed frame. Uh -huh. That was more than enough for me to store clothing, food, um, all my bathroom stuff. My garage for the most part was in the two bins that faced out of a door and then the rest uh -huh. of them faced into the living area so I could just open them up there. Shoe pockets are great. Everybody uses shoe pockets and those things can hold a lot. So I had shoe pockets for storage. And then I had this big box that is a foldable box, but it's like those footstools, only it's a double. Uh, and I put that down in the back 
And that became my kitchen area. And I had bins underneath that to lift it up. But also I could store things in those bins because I could pull the drawers out and get to them. Uh -huh. So my water sat over here. My kitchen box sat over here. I could cook from inside or out. I have to say that that build for me, uh -huh. that build was perfect. After I went out and did everything that I did, that build was perfect. There was nothing I would have changed except wow. for I thought I wanted more floor space. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut my bed down. And when I did that, it was like, no, 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 no. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to rip the whole thing out of there, which was real easy. It took me maybe 20 minutes to take all the bins out and everything out. Huh? So I've already built a kitchen, which I have sitting right next to me. Um, and I did a video on that. So, and it's the cutest kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love this kitchen. It's so doggone cute. I cannot wait for the video to come out. It's so cute and it's so functional. I love it. I love it. And so then I'm going to build a bed frame and I'm going to have my bed to the back of my van instead of, uh, it was like up against the side and the back area uh -huh. where the hole was. Yeah, that was not no, no bed there. Now there's going to be bed there. So I'm going to have my living area up in the front behind the two front seats uh -huh. will be my little living room area. So that's kind of where I'm at with the new plan. Uh, but yeah. Well, it sounds like you have some good ideas and that, you know, the, do you see yourself going full time at some point, maybe? I go where God tells me to go. If he says, go live in that van, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling that's exactly what will happen. If it's that's what it feels like he wants you to do, that is exactly, I see you yeah. as that person who just will do, you know, yeah. follow through and do that if that's yeah. what it's it leading. Yeah, and no sweat, man, I'll go. I, I mean, I've got no qualms about living in my van. I, I, I had one scary night in the forest, which is a video that's coming up shortly. So watch for that. I was scared okay. to death in that forest. Um, and I made it through the night. I survived it. And I was, mm -hmm. you know, I was so happy that I did. But I think that's a lot of people really struggle with that fear, especially yeah. women who are out here doing this all by themselves. So they be, they be, blah, 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 rewind. Blah, 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 blah. They have either... <laughs> <laughs> they've, been, they've been forced into it or you know they just but for whatever reason they're living in their cars their vans whatever and the biggest thing that they have when they first start out is that fear of yeah. you know am I gonna be robbed am I gonna this or that uh, and then you watch other stories where after a while it's like the friendliest people on the planet are out here living in vans they're not out to hurt you so, yeah. you know, yeah. So I know we spent about seven weeks in, at Quartzsite. It was actually six. And, you know, the, the driving to and from Oregon um, nightmare, <clears throat> you know, was part of it. But we were, we were there for the better part of six weeks. And then um, I could go back by myself and stay in court, at, some, at Quartzsite or any of that land adjacent there that is public land. I would feel very safe. Uh, there because you can see things around you when you talk about the forest and I love the forest I do I love rivers I love water I'm a water girl I'm a Libra so I have mm -hmm. this balance you know of water and whatever's on the other side uh, so I enjoy land it's called land, land Lucretia yes. <laughs> land on one side water on the other um yeah makes perfect sense winter so I would feel a little bit fearful in the forest I by myself with right. Richard I would feel fine I do have I do have um the, the I have what it, I feel comfortable with for protection with me and uh um, right. when I go and camp and I will always have that safety sense about me I'm pretty alert to the world around me and so yeah. um yeah it's just um Nope. D says no crime and quartzite. Very safe. Yeah. I love D. I just have to say this. I love quartzite and I, I'm not a desert girl. I'm just not. I, I come from the land of trees and of ocean. And so, um, 
but I did find Quartzsite is someplace I could actually be a lot of time. And I will go back there, even though I don't need to go back there. I need to go back because I have to go spend some time with Dee. I, I, I know. Still- I know. I need to go and spend time with Dee, too. I, I drove by Quartzsite when I was headed to California, and I wanted to stop and see her so badly. And I was on a time constraint. And I'm like, she's right there. I know. <laughs> and I, I had to keep on going. So. Well, it should, D's definitely worth a bucket list uh, place on because yes. we did get to spend a little bit of time with her chatting and whatnot. Um, we didn't get to camp with her because of our particular situation with these giant, I mean, giant solar panels that had not been put on our roof until three days before we left Quartzsite. We just, it oh. just, you know, it, um, so, so anyways, yeah, I'll, when we go back, um, I'm, that's, there's many people we met that we really enjoyed. Roy and Becky, we, we yes. camped right next to them the whole oh, time. Yes. We, I think I remember them doing a video about that. I could be wrong, but that sounds familiar to me, Lucretia. Well, they actually guided us in. That's what got us into that area oh. when we first got to Quartzsite. People are so willing to be helpful. It's just... And and B, and D saying she wished you had stopped by. So, um, but I found everybody everybody I met was very warm and welcoming and uh, interested in, you know, being as helpful as possible. So, uh, <clears throat> so you would ideally like to get something where you can stand up, which makes sense to me. Um, and it's too bad, you know, Bob Wells he auctioned off basically, I believe, his van. Because he's moved into or moving into an ambulance, so his van was he's up. Already, oh. Yeah, I've been watching his videos. I actually left a comment under his video and under um, uh, the Globies uh-huh. for the couple that are seventy-eight and are going to lose their apartment by the end of this month. I was hoping yes. maybe it would get to him. Along with other people, were leaving the same comment. That these two oh. people could really use that van. Yes. So I saw I, that too. Did he already give it away? I don't know. I don't know. But if not, man, that would be that would be like a perfect gift would to to the, that couple. Almost 80. Breaking up. And uh gonna be in their vehicle. <laughs> I hate the breaking up. Okay. Um so is there advice you'd give people on what to do to prepare? What 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 would you say to a brand new lady sitting here who says, I want to do this too, Winter? What do you think I should do? What's the first thing? I would start watching van van videos a lot. Yes. A lot. Because you're going to learn so much from watching those videos. I watched van builds and van travel for almost two years before I ever did this. And I didn't even understand why I was watching them. I was just drawn to watch these videos. And that would be my first advice. Uh, And then make sure that you know what kind of vehicle you are going to be the most comfortable in. Right. And work towards getting that kind of vehicle. Because that that is the bottom line. It's like, what kind of vehicle are you going to be comfortable in? I'm fairly certain if we had to camp, if we had to be in a smaller vehicle, I now know what to do, and that would be to either have a tent or a pop up of some t- of some kind, because we're living out of our vehicles, not in it. Even if even if it's a class C or a class A. Um, that's at least for me, that would be my philosophy. <clears throat> and so that was, you know, that is important. Um, and then figuring out the bed and like you've already said, that was, yes. uh, you know, you made yes. a mistake, but now, you know, you made a mistake and what's the exactly. bottom line. Yes. Um, yes. D said she is going to start saving for a compact minivan to get around. So I don't have to take my home everywhere. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Dee. Yes, absolutely, D. I think about you all the time if you have to go to the grocery store, you've got to pack it all up and I mean take the whole thing and 
I, you know, that's something where the U-Haul truck was a big issue for me because what I was going to do was keep my car and I was going to oh. buy the U-Haul truck and then tow my car so I could have something to, to get around in. Then I'm thinking, do I want to be a turtle? Do I want to be towing something behind me? No, I want to, if I have to be stealth, I want to be able to be stealth. So yeah, I think about that a lot. People that live in bigger structures and having to take the whole structure to go get your groceries and things like that. So yes, yeah, absolutely. That's what we had to do. And, uh, and I, we drove, we were, and I also, we're not used to being like limited in what we can do. Uh, we're, we're used to coming and going at will, like most, you know, most people who live in a sticks and right. bricks house, even if they're, you know, go on, on a bus, most people have some way of getting around. Well, we would have to unhook from those giant solar panels because they were not, they're not portable. They, they eventually got put on the roof, but they're not portable. And it was, it was probably the most limiting part of, what we did, you know, but we couldn't have known that until we did it. Uh, yes. So yes, exactly. So yes, I and we are. I'm fairly certain we will have a vehicle to tow when we come back, wherever we go. You know, I I just think mm -hmm. it's important. Roy and Becky used to make well, not make fun of us in a bad way, but they had fun with us. Over they wake up. Oh, and Kim the. Um, uh, Rome town girl. Also, she came to camp with us for a while and she said, Lucretia, I'd look up in the morning, open my, my blinds. You'd be gone. Where did you go? You know, because you usually when you have a vehicle, like what we're ha we have, you come and you stay, but we had to go to town to get things and we had to dump and we had to get water and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Joy Bliss Life. Either of you ladies go to Branson or maybe our meetups at Burning Up the Roads. I am I am not. We are not. I. We are not going anywhere till about March. Um, and do you know anything about this uh, winter, the Branson or Mayberry meetups? <clears throat> no, no, I'm not. I, I, I wanted to go to Mayberry last year and I wasn't able to do it. And this year it's just so crowded. And with, you know, the sea going on, I'm just hanging out. I'm staying home, yeah. laying low. <laughs> yes. No, I, I hear you yeah. on that. Um, so uh, Cappy Therapy has been putting, dropping your link. And um, let me make sure what time we're at here. Uh, Thank dropping you, your Doreen. link. Doreen. Thank you. Yeah, Doreen is a great a great moderator. And by the way, if you're a moderator, if you could please drop your links, if you have content on your channel, uh, please feel free to drop your links. And I know we've got uh, Capping Therapy in here. Um, <clears throat> uh, Linda Barker is not a content creator, but thank you, Linda. And actually, Dee made a good point that Linda Barker and, and moderators that are uh, not content creators that come to watch a show, and, you know, there, there's a loyalty that they have no skin in the game. So it's not like they're watching your show to get someone, you know, to get Just you to watch. breaking it up all over the place. I'm not understanding anything oh, again. Right. I caught D. I caught camping therapy. I didn't catch anything else. What were you um, saying? Um, one second. Um, okay. I'm just adding a couple moderators because I want them to be able to drop their links. Oh, cool. And, if some uh, if somebody wants to drop these, please, because I know she doesn't like being a moderator. And so um, that way we've got some people that I don't know who could certainly uh, be, I'd like their, their, them to drop their links. All right, so added a few more moderators so you can drop your links, please. And that way each other, one of the things that I appreciate and that how I have gotten the small channel that I have at this point is by doing things like that. It's making friends with people and going and checking them out and watching their videos, giving them a genuine feedback about it. I actually like to find something I like about the video. Like, like, let's say, you know, one of your, your builds. So you're, you know, working on your, I like watching those builds. And I also like to comment about something technical if I can, like whether it's a a photograph or a picture that someone has taken um, or the fact that you can actually do the work. Okay. I, I like to comment yes. at that level. Um, 
Well, you, yeah, you commented on my um, video with the ocean. It starts with the ocean. You were very complimentary about that. You thought that was very well done. And I really appreciate, I, I love that kind of thing. I love any kind of critique because it helps you be better. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, if it's a good critique, yay. And if it's a negative one, fine. Um, somebody told me they couldn't hear my video, my van tour video at all. And I was like, oh no. You know, oh. how come no one else has told me that? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. apparently 11,000 people have seen it and I haven't heard anybody else tell me they couldn't hear it. So I, I, I'm i assuming that it was that person's issue, not my video. Right. But I appreciate those kind of comments because it's hel it's helpful. So how many, um, how many um, subscribers did you have before the show? I had... Uh, 667. Okay. Well, you're at 674 now. So you have a few new friends to go check out and see who wow. they are. Oh my goodness. How? That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank yeah, I you. Really, I really like that. That, that really so matters. Much. Yes, it does. Yeah. And, uh, would you say, so... <clears throat> I think that your channel is going to, I think you, you are wonderful, got a wonderful spirit about you. Uh, you, you do really good. Your thumbnails are attractive. Your channel is attractive. I think your ideas are great as far as you're going to do what you're kind of led to do. And um, I can see your channel is probably going to uh, explode again, especially if you say, uh, if, if you keep praying, you're probably going to get well. prayers answered. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. God's will. <laughs> I love God's will. God's will. Let me just preach for a half a minute. God's will is the most freeing thing I've ever done. Giving up my will to him. I've never felt freer because I just puppet it. And I let him tell me what to do every day. And I just, yeah, I've never been happier ever, ever. I think that since we're, we're kind of short on time, I just want to ask you, what did you know about editing before you started this? Because, you know, we nothing. talk a little bit. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. So you do a good job. You do a really good job. Yeah, I do. I, I, I'm <laughs> yes, no, you do. You deserve that. <laughs> I am. Big ego. I love editing. I'm addicted to it. I absolutely love editing. And it comes real easy for me. So I just, I don't know. I took a, uh, my faucet that I put in. That was a four hour shoot. And I got four hours down to five minutes and 15 yeah. minutes had it done and out the door. Uh, but wow. that, was, that was, yeah, it, that was unique in a way, but it was just super easy to do. And uh, I love editing. If anybody needs help with editing, hit me up <laughs> because I use Video Leap, I've used iMovie. I've used, um, well, a lot of them. And I use Video Leap exclusively now, and I do everything on my phone. That amazes me. People can do it on their phone. I am very, you know, I use my phone is literally kind of like glued in my hand all day long, but I could not edit. I know I, I just couldn't on my phone. I, I like having everything on my screen kind of laid out in a way that I can see it. Um, but when someone can do it on their phone, it's so much more, it just is right there. Easy. Boom, boom, boom. When I'm on a screen, Lucretia, when I'm trying to do it on a computer, like with Phil Mora, I was trying to do a whale watching video after two weeks, I gave up. I, I can't do this on this computer and it's a DVD that I'm trying to convert so I can put it on my channel and uh -huh. I have to go through the computer to do it. And then I'm like, no, I don't. I'm just going to hold my phone up to the DVD and record it that way. <laughs> then I'll edit it. <laughs> well, you just, Linda Barker says, uh, make video of your new van build. I'm, I suspect you oh, probably are going to be doing that. I already, yeah, I've already started with my kitchen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. And I just want to say thank you so much to Joy Bless Life. That's very sweet of you. I appreciate that. All right. Well, anything left that you want to say before we hang the phone up? I just am so 
thankful that everybody came to watch. I'm thankful for you, Lucretia. We're friends now. I feel very yeah. close to you. We have a lot in common. And yeah, I just am so grateful and hope to get to meet you. Uh, and everybody, just love you all. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. And I'm sure you'll be back again because there's much more to talk about. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All righty. Talk to you another time. Have a good day. Okay. I didn't mean to shut her down that quickly. I, it just, my hand went over there. All right. Um, thank you guys for coming today. Um, I think winner's a wonderful lady. Got a great channel too. So we have shown both channels, um, Happy Camper and Winter's Place. And I think that they're growing and they're going to, they're going to be of value to the community in one form or another. So, um, I don't think I have any more to say other than uh, Richard is surviving. He will be fine. It's just going to take some time. And uh, my surgery is pushed out, and that's all right with me. Um, I'm very happy not having any more surgery in the moment. So um, I'm just looking forward to spring. That's what I'm looking forward to because that's when I believe we'll be able to leave is end of February, beginning of March. That's where my vision is right now. And by then we will have everything done on the RV. Um, if you were, if you watched uh, my interview two weeks ago with my nephew and his uh, fiance, we talked about uh, naming their channel and they gave some options. If you would, we're gonna do the final count on that probably Monday of next week. So I'm gonna re-interview them Monday of next week. They've been traveling and we're gonna, you guys are the ones naming their channel. We gave you four options. I believe it was three or four. I think it was three options. And if you didn't get to vote, either, you know, go back and watch the video or a little bit of it. It is, um, and I think it says name their channel. Just hop on over to community tab and choose a name. What, what, what name do you like? Um, I know what name I like. And, um, Help us name their channel. They want to get a good start. And I don't know why we thought it was a good idea, but it's the, how they're going to name their channel. That is exactly what they're going to do. So I just talked to him on the phone today and he's excited about getting a channel name and I'm having them video everything they possibly can, including some toilet mistakes. I know people don't like to talk about that, but some toilet errors and some mishaps but he didn't get it on video. And I said, next time, Peggy, stand by him and get whatever's going on on video. So anyways, um, you use iMovie. Uh, yeah, please just go over to my uh, community tab and vote. I'd like to have a, more than a handful, if at all possible. All right, guys, so you guys have a great day. I'm going to go uh, fix some lunch for Richard and try to wake him up gently. He doesn't like pain. It hurts. And um, and then go from there. So you guys all have a great day. Um, stay happy, safe, and know that we really love you and we appreciate you coming and watching our channel. All right. Bye-bye.